Today's best mix, Mix 108. Joining us on the phone right now, MJ or Melissa from Team Usher on NBC's hit show, The Voice. Good morning. Hey, good morning. What's up, everybody? You are awfully chipper for so early in the morning, so we really appreciate you being on the show with us, MJ. And uh, boy, exciting stuff going on for you, not only being on Team Usher, but uh, you made it through your first battle round. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, of course, for you guys, I had to get up early and, you know, have my cup of coffee (laughs) because, yeah, it's a bit early, but, you know, who's complaining? And Team Usher, I mean, he's incredible. I'm really happy to be on his team and still on the show. So it's, it's really exciting at this point. So who are your musical influences? I know you, I mean, you sang Alicia Keys when you did your audition. You've uh, sang with Wyclef Jean. So like who, who else are artists that you really uh, look up to and have been singing along to? Uh, well, thanks to my dad, he's put me on to a lot of music, you know, starting with jazz, jazz standards, funk, Motown. So I grew up listening to Stevie Wonder, Luther Vandross, Earth, Wind & Fire. But, you know, once I sort of started to develop my own taste, I definitely went with the classics, you know, Whitney, Mariah, Celine, you know, pretty much everybody says that. But Michael Jackson, Janet, Janet was like my number one for me growing up. Right. And uh, just the production and the music that she had from Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, that spoke to me. So those were those five were definitely my favorites growing up. Well, MJ, uh, Cooper and I were talking off the air about just saying that I've watched the show for years, and it and every year it just seems to get better and better and better as far as the performers. And this year it's going to be tough. There's a lot of really good people out there. Yeah, definitely. I agree. And and I I love it. I love that the talent is just uh, so strong and so competitive, and it just helps to fuel me and to push me on to do better on what I do. So it's it's going great. What are some of the things that go into preparation before you actually hit the stage and the cameras are rolling? I mean, how much work and effort goes into um, practicing and working with your coaches and with your teammates and, and everybody else before everybody gets to see what goes on on TV? Man, where do I start? We, we all, <laughs> all the contestants, we put in the work. And it's just incredible how NBC is able to sort of edit and put everybody for the world to see through TV. But, yeah, we go, we really, you know, we spend a lot of time with our coach. We spend a lot of time with the band and our vocal coach. And uh, there's really not a day where we're just sitting down having a sandwich. You know, <laughs> we have to be on the go. And, um, and then one, one stage it's ready, you know, once the show is ready to go, we hit that stage and we put everything we got. And sometimes excitement and jitters kind of interfere, but we fight through it because we're so excited and anxious to, to perform on that stage. It's pretty intense once the lights and you hear the drums, dun, 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 and yeah. you just get all up, wrapped up into the moment. But, yeah, we put a lot of work in, and hopefully that shows, you know, through, you know, to America. Right. And it must be really interesting being on such a big stage. You know, you're in front of this huge audience. And then on top of that, you have the opportunity to go back and then watch yourself after the fact. Do you do you actually go back and do that regularly? Do you kind of watch how you performed and critique yourself? Or do you try to avoid that so you don't focus on, you know, something you may have done that, that is bugging you too much? Oh, no. I, I like to face everything because, you know, that's the way I can better myself um, on the day of performance. You know, it's a feeling. I kind of go off, okay, let me see how I felt. I think I executed that right, and I gave it my all. You know, sometimes for me, I want to give a good execution, good performance, of course a good vocal, but if I'm really selling the song, then I feel good about it. So watching back on TV, you know, I was really happy. I was proud with the performance, and there's always little things vocally that, that I always say to myself, oh, man, I could have so hit that better. But taking into consideration the excitement and what we go through, I was like, okay, that's, that's not a big deal. Because on that day, I felt like I had bongos in my chest. <laughs> and sometimes they just take over. I mean, I want to sing and just push through. But, you know, I'm, I'm a person, I'm an emotional singer, and when I get really excited and anxious, sometimes that, that just sort of uh, takes over. But I fight through it, and um, I'm able to critique myself and continue to keep working to better myself for the next round, hopefully. MJ, a lot of people want to know who watched the show. Of course, you know, working with the likes of Usher and Shakira and Adam Levine. What seems different with this show, and I know it's the early stages of the show, but it really seems like 
the coaches sincerely care about the people on their team. You know, it doesn't seem like they're just kind of rifling people through like some of the other reality shows. I mean, do you kind of see that even in this early stage? Like, Usher really seems to, you know, not for, oh, I won this year, but, you know, that he really seems to care for everyone on his team. You know, Usher, it's just amazing with him. I have been a fan of this man since he came out with You Make Me Wanna. And because of that, of course I'm going to, you know, cheer for him and root for him and say, oh, he's the best. But right. then meeting him and really seeing his work ethic and his tactics as a coach, right. he is ten times more incredible. And I'm not just saying that because it's not like somebody's paying me to say, oh, say Usher's amazing. He is really incredible. He really cares. I respect the fact that even during blinds, he takes his time to really settle into the song and hear everybody's voice. Um, then when he does pick us, he tells us why he, he liked our voices and you know what he has in store for us. With uh, the battle rounds, he met with every single um, one of the contestants, and he gave like a nice pep talk, but he also allowed for us to talk to him and tell him who we are as artists and, and just be cool and friendly so we can be comfortable and confident when we get on the stage. So I just hope that I continue to move forward so I can have more time with him because it just it keeps getting better and better, and I'm absorbing all this knowledge that he has to offer all of us. With the battle rounds, it's kind of an interesting uh, approach to singing. You're you're competing for yourself, but at the same time, you're also kind of working as a team with someone else. What what sort of approach do you go into doing something like that? It's not something that the average singer does on a regular basis. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. Um, well, fortunately for me. Be, uh, being that I've worked with my father and, and the Ten Piece Band, I've also, you know, worked with other artists. I've I've toured with Nile Rodgers and Chic. So for me, I I love working with other singers, and it's all about blending and have a good energy and being able to deliver a vocal. So it's not all over the place. So during the battles, I was looking forward to this because I kind of approached it like, oh, this is a gig, and you're singing with your sister. You know, it's like you're singing background vocals. But then once it sunk in that, oh no no no, this is a battle. <laughs> you have to really you know, try to outshine the other, that sort of affected me because I'm competitive, but I'm not about, oh, I'm going to beat you and, I, you know, let's see who the better singer is. So I had to sort of make an adjustment and just really be confident in myself and just deliver, like I said before, execute the song and make my coach believe that I'm really uh, delivering the song and I'm believing in what I'm saying. And one of Usher's um, main things that he tells all of us is to commit, to commit with what we're going to do and commit to the song. So the day of battles, I just thought, okay, commit, commit, commit. And um, I, you know, I, and, and it worked in my favor, and I'm really glad that it did. <laughs> Well, you're awfully talented and have such a great stage presence and such a great voice. And, you know, we're, we're really cheering for you. I mean, you're, you're amazing and we wish you all the best. And thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. We know you guys are really busy and kind of regimented schedule. So we really appreciate it. And uh, just know that you got a lot of us uh, in Minnesota that are cheering you on. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. I love it. Thank you so much, guys. Thank hey, you. Thank you very much. Thank you, MJ. Good luck.